Hi, Pickleball Terry here, and I'm gonna revive an old net. This is an onyx net I've had for three years. The bag, unfortunately, is gonna to have to be thrown away. Zipper has broken, it's got holes in it, it's dirty, it's smelly. It's time this bag is retired permanently. And even Molly agrees. Hi, Molly. So first of all, I'm going to uh, take the black tape I put on the net off where the pole was poking through. And I have a lot of the black gummy residue where I put the black tape. So that has to come off. I'm using eye makeup removing wipes and I'm using, I have to use a lot of rubbing and wiping to get that off. And I, um, Use that instead of goo gone is because I was too lazy to go to the store right then I thought ah oh, this will work and it did but only with a lot of rubbing but it came out pretty good so I it did work now I'm gonna wash it in the wash machine I'm using Lysol sanitizer downy and some Tide free and gentle and I'm gonna put it on the gentle cycle and don't worry, it comes out fine. Nothing happens to it. And here it is after it's washed. It's drying on the lanai. Came out great. Looks good. Looks really good. I'm going to sew now where the pole popped through. And I am going to go back and forth about five times to really reinforce that. And I was thinking about putting some leather on there. It's not leather. It's leather they call it and it's from an old pocketbook that I cut out but I I just didn't really like the dark color I'm gonna uh, wait until I find some white and then maybe I'll do that later on or I'll bring it to a seamstress who can do it so there was still some black residue left from the black tape and I finally got the goo gone and I'm just going around on spot cleaning and the Goo Gone really gets it off a lot easier. So definitely use Goo Gone instead of eye makeup remover. My bad. Here's that pleather I was thinking about using, but I just didn't like the dark color. I want, I definitely want to use white. Now I'm going to wash all the poles with some Fabuloso and some water. And I'm getting all the dirt off them and dust and some, try to wipe off some of the rust. And that's because I am going to be spray painting them with Rust-Oleum flat black. Here's a good time to tell you that if you haven't signed up for my newsletter, please go to sarasotapickleball.com. I'm also on Instagram at Terry Ann Ryan. I post a pickleball funny meme every day, usually. You can follow me also on um, YouTube, which is Terry Ryan. Facebook is Sarasota Pickleball. Okay, so here are the finished poles, clean. Clean and ready to be spray painted. I'm gonna zip you through this because I don't want to bore you to death watching you spray paint some pickleball poles. But I'm doing a, it, it's really easy. And here's the finished product. I made sure I got inside the holes too where the where they connect because they were a little rusty in there. And I did a pretty good job. They look great. I went over them a couple times. They dried quickly, like within an hour. I think they look fabulous, like brand new. Here's my new bag. Okay, but I found this on, the Am on uh, Amazon, and it was $16. Uh, it's a tent bag, actually, but it's got a lot of room, 
so I don't have to squeeze everything in. It's got long shoulder straps so I can uh, use it as a shoulder bag. And the best thing was the price, $16. I did look at other bags that were specially made for pickleball, pickleball replacement bags, and they were uh, $35, $60, and they had bad reviews. And I didn't want the same thing to happen, you know, with zipper breaking and the tight squeeze, um, the short handles, no thanks. So I, as you can see, I'm throwing a lot of stuff in there. I got a first aid kit, I got extra balls. Um, I'm using, gonna put some sanitizing wipes in there, an extra hat, here's my wipes. I am got some mints, I am got some Advil, there's some extra spare safety glasses, and everything zips up easily with that giant zipper, heavy duty giant zipper. It's great, like it, love all the room, great find, nice heavy long straps, Perfect. There's the old bag. Buy old bag. Here's the new bag. Thanks for watching.